So Ableton Live 12 is released and in this video we're going to see if we have any differences in performance between Ableton Live 11 and 12 on a Windows PC using a Ryzen 7950X. Not going to screen record this time, so we're going to take you with me here and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, so this is the Ryzen PC and if you look in the top right corner we have the CPU meter here. So this is the audio buffer in Ableton Live and you can click on that and you can uh, turn on warn on CPU overload. So the way I'm testing this is that I'm looping this project. I'm looping this part uh, here. The settings are 41.1 kilohertz audio and 512 buffer size. Other than that, I'm using the Fireface uh, audio interface here. The same one I'm using uh, on the Mac, which we are going to do a quick comparison on afterwards. But yeah, I'm basically just looping this and waiting until I get the CPU overload thing up here. On this project, I was able to run 76 tracks more or less without getting any CPU overload. So you can see that it's going there, but it's not uh, CPU overloading. So I think I'm just barely on on the mark here or on the limit. And we can take a look at the CPU cores. The system is running Precision Boost Overdrive and I'm using Expo 1 on the memory. And the memory is running at uh, 6000 megahertz, I think it is. And I'm not using any curve optimizer or power saving on the CPU. But you can see here, it's not CPU overloading. So this is the limit and we have 76 tracks with uh, Diva and uh, Serum and you can kind of see here that the chorus here kind of follows the melody. It looks pretty strange. This is the limit for the 7950X and again you can download the project in uh, the description below. I got the same result so this is Ableton Live 11. In Ableton Live 12 I think I got maybe one or maybe two tracks more than Ableton Live 11. The raw performance between Ableton Live 11 and 12 is more or less basically the same. The system then uh, also have 32 gigabytes of memory. Yeah, it's running from an SSD. So this is how the 7950X works and it's uh, running on uh, Windows uh, 11. I just wanted to show you a little comparison here because I'm running the same project on the Mac here. So this is the M3 Max. I'm running Ableton 12 and as you can see here, the Mac is able to run 134 tracks. At least in this uh, in this project. So in this project, this laptop is more or less double the performance of the PC I have. It's not the ThinkPad there. It's obviously the box behind. So more or less double the music performance uh, on this Mac compared to this PC. Obviously I use the PC for other stuff like gaming. That doesn't work well on that one, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the results. Yeah, so performance wise, it doesn't look like there are uh, a lot of differences between Ableton Live 11 and Ableton Live 12, but I have heard people I haven't seen on Reddit and I've also seen uh, comments on my videos that Ableton Live 12 feels more fluid interface wise and that may just be the case but uh, it seems like the engine kind of performs the same. I did the same test uh, on my Mac and uh, if you haven't seen that video I got the same results there. It was uh, the same performance between 11 and 12 on the Mac as well. But what I think is more interesting is that this thing here is double the performance more or less at least in this test 
compared to the PC. It might be uh, other things that works better on PC and other things that works better on Mac. But at least uh, when we are using uh, Serum or the Diva synthesizer, yeah, this Mac is just uh, crushing the 7950X. And again, I have updated the BIOS on the PC. I have um, loaded optimized defaults. I have uh, turned on uh, Expo 1. I have not turned on any power saving things on the CPU. I'm not reusing Curve Optimizer to kind of reduce the power draw and power limit there. I'm just giving it everything and uh, yeah. That's the results. That's why I'm making these videos and you can make your own decisions on uh, on what you think. What do you think? Comment down below and uh, if I forget anything, I I often forget things in my videos and you tell me that. And uh, yeah, maybe you can give me a reason to make another video. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.